Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So now we are going to do our second question of today's cheat code contest. So let us first read this question. Then we'll check for constraint and then finally the coding part for the same. So here we are given lexicographically smallest palindrom that we are required to figure out and how we are required to figure. So let us read the question. You are given a string S consisting of lowercase English letters and you are allowed to perform operations on it. In one operation, you can replace a character in S and another with another lowercase English letter. A task is to make S a palindrome with a minimum number of operations possible. If there are multiple palindromes that can be made using the minimum number of operations, make the lexographically smallest one. So basically, a palindrome we are required to form, and that also by using minimum number of operations. And the end product should be lexographical smallest palindrome. So here, a string A is lexographical smaller than a string B of the same length. In the first position where A and B differ, string A has a smaller letter that appears earlier in English alphabet than corresponding letter in B and return the resulting palindromic string. So this is what we are required to do. Means basically, if we are given with A, B, A, means if it is a as it is a palindrome, and then we are having B, A, B, right? Both are of same length, right? But which is the lexicographical smaller? That is this one. Because they are clearly mentioned that where they differ. So here they are different at this particular point, right? And then we need to check that out of both of them, which is that character, which is smaller, that is its occurred first in our alphabetical order. So here we can clearly see that is the A. So that's how this becomes the lexographically smaller uh, string. So that's why this is the palindrome which we are required to return rather than this. Because this could also be the possibility, but we are required to return this one which is lexographically smaller. Now comes the part, let us first check for the constraint, then we'll check for example. So here constraint is that S could be up to 1000 characters. So as it could be up to 1000 characters, so that means 10 to the power 3. And if we make a n square solution, that is 10 to the power 6, so it will give us TLE. So if we make a solution which is n log n, so that will also work fine, and order of n would surely work fine. So this is the thing which we are required to keep in mind as per these constraints. And then all our lowercase English letters, so surely we don't need to make handle the H case of if there is some capital letter. So because they have already cleared. So now let us check for the examples which are being given to us. So here, first example is E, G, F, E. So for palindrome, how we check that if it is a palindrome? We will just partition from the mid and then check E matches, E matches, then G and F are not matches, right? So as for the question, we are required to make smallest, uh, basically lexicographically smallest palindrome, right? So how we can make? So we'll check G and F, out of them, which one is smaller? That is F, right? So we will form this G as F only. This will make it lexicographical smaller, right? And because both of letters are same, so it will still remain a palindrome. Why we are doing in this manner, the thing is that we are required to use minimum operation. As we, we would have done by sorting and something like that, but that won't result in minimum operation and that will become much more complex and that even won't give us desired result. So that's why what we are required to check, we just need to check for the first and the last character, then again second and the second last character, and then we are just required to compare them out of them, which one is the smaller, means lexographical smaller, and we are required to replace with that lexographical smaller, the other one, which is lexographical bigger, so that it becomes lexo, whole becomes a lexographical smaller palindrome. So this is how we can do. So here A, B, C, D, which is given to us, it is, it is starting, it is not a palindrome. So how we are required to make it a palindrome? So here A and D is there, right? So which is the lexicographical smaller? Obviously A is the smaller, right? So now it will become A, B, C, A. Now our pointer goes to this point. So now again, this is the lexicographical smaller. That is D, right? So now it will become A, B, B and A. So this is the desired result. And as we can see, they have also returned the same. So here it is it again, it is not a palindrome, right? So here S and N, which one is smaller? N is smaller, so now it becomes N-E-V-N. -E so 
So now if we take these, it is already and it is already. So this whole becomes a pandemic and like this we are required to do what this particular question. So let us go ahead for the coding part for the same. So here this is the size code for the same. So here we will be doing this particular with using two pointers. Our starting and ending pointer would be pointing at these particular positions. Then we'll uh, use a for, uh, while loop and we'll use less than equal to and by equal to is also mentioned because it could be odd length as well. Where when it becomes equal to, then surely both of them would be equal, right? Means it will be at this point, right? So at that moment, we are required to just continue. That just go ahead. And when it will just go ahead, then it will start and end will simply cross each other, right? So this condition won't satisfy at that moment. And then we'll just exit and return the S. So that's why I use this less than equal to. So this was condition when both of them are equal. Means these characters are equal. And then if any one of them is lesser than, so we are just going to assign the lesser one to the bigger one and then move ahead. And then same here. So like this, we will be going in this particular string traversal. And then at the end, we will be returning the uh, transformed string, which would be there as our answer. So it will be surely the lexicographical smaller because already we are checking that which one will be smaller that will be assigned to the bigger one. So surely this will be a lexicographical smaller. So now comes the part for the time complexity and space complexity. So the time complexity for the same would be here. You can clearly see that it is order of n and space complexity again order of one because we are not using any extra space here. You can clearly see that. So this was all for this particular question. If you have any doubt, you would comment that down. And yeah, this was all. Thank you.